Hey everybody, welcome back to another non-shaving shave video uh, from Craving Shaving. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to know what type of knot or what size of knot or what size of hole you need if you're buying a knot to put in your handle or you're buying a handle to put one of your knots in. Because um, that's really the, the two sides of that coin that you need to, to consider. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start out, we're going to talk about if you have a handle and you want to put your knot in there. How do you know if it's going to fit? Well, um, you're going to need a measuring device, probably. Um, calipers are great. Digital calipers are even better. Um, just make sure it's something that's accurate. Um, and it's best if it has both the inside and or outside and inside um, sides of the calipers, which I'm, I'm sure I'll do unless you find some pretty archaic stuff. So if you have a handle already, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your calipers. And you're going to want to expand them to see what the size of that hole is at its widest. And for this brush, it looks like I drilled the hole out smaller than I usually do. Um, yeah, 26.63 millimeters. Usually I shoot for 27 millimeters when I'm doing a shave brush because I use mostly 26 millimeter knots. Um, and you want the hole to be bigger than the knot that you're putting it putting into it. And here's the reason why. Let me let me show you uh, with this knot. This is one of the knots that I sell. Whoops. <laughs> I'm putting my brushes. Um, if I measure this knot here, like on this glue plug, I'm going to get one measurement. So on this it is 26.1 millimeters. If I go just above that, at the very first part of where the hair starts coming out, it's going to be a little bit wider. You see 26.97 millimeters. So even if this part fits, this glue plug here at the bottom, the hair is going to come outward and sometimes there's a rather large glue bump that's there. And so that's always something you want to consider. In fact, if you have a, a brush and you want to make sure that the knot fits in it, um, I would ask the person who supplied the knot who, um, if there is a glue bump. Hopefully they know what that is. If not, you can directly ask them, you know, hey, what is it, you know, just, what is it measured just above that glue plug? Um, here's an extreme example of this. This is a uh, knot that I'm going to be testing out that I might sell in my shop. Um, I don't currently offer this, but as you can see, 25.91 is the plug. And if I go north on this a bit, at the widest point, it's almost 29 millimeters, 29 and a half millimeters. So there's a massive glue plug on, or glue bump on this just north of that little plug. So you want to make sure that the hole is big enough. Um, if, if you see, you know, I have this one here, and it barely fits because I did that really, really small. I, um, it doesn't, it fits very, very snugly. Um, other ones like these uh, suave knots from PAA, they don't have much of a glue bump and it fits in quite nicely and not as snugly. So um, that's something to consider. And, th and that covers kind of both. So if you have a handle, you want to make sure, double check the that the brush that you are buying has dimensions that will fit your handle. Um, it would, in fact, I did have this with this massive glue bump on this. I ordered a 26 millimeter knot, and it's almost a 30 millimeter knot um, because of the density of the hairs that are packed in there. And you will find that the more dense the hairs are packed into the knot, the more um, of a glue bump generally they have, which makes sense. Um, so you're going to want to make the hole a lot bigger in the brush. Um, yeah, see, this one doesn't even fit in this this handle. Um, so anyway, that's something to consider when trying to fit your brush to your knot or your knot to your brush is what is the size, first of all, of you know the glue plug, because that's got to fit in there, obviously. But even probably more importantly, what is the, the size of the, uh, of the glue bump on the knot? I, I would imagine that it would be pretty common practice for someone to have a recommended uh, bore size 
for the knots that they sell. Um, although I have not checked up on that. Anyway, um, that is that is pretty much it, I think. So uh, just to go over points again, make sure the hole is big enough for the knot that you're going to put into it. And make sure that the knot, <laughs> if, you're, if you have a knot and you're buying a handle, um, just make sure that, that the handle will fit more than just this plug. Because this plug is going to be 26 millimeters or you know whatever it is that you order. That's going to be roughly the size of this bottom piece. But it is going to come out and that's something that I could see some frustration over um, potentially. So I think it's fairly common for most brush makers if you're drilling out a hole to drill it out larger than what you're going to be putting in there. Like I said, I usually go a millimeter over. Um, I know some people that do two millimeters over. If they're doing a 26 millimeter knot, they'll drill a 28 millimeter hole. Um, it, as, it, it just depends on the knot. Most of my knots, in fact all of my knots um, that I currently have fit perfectly well in a 27 millimeter hole. Um, if I end up carrying, where'd it go, this one, I don't know if I will, we'll see. Um, I may have to start drilling them out a little bit more to compensate for that. Um, this is a brush that was made by Scott Rollins, uh, Shaving King's Cave. I'll put a link to his Etsy page down in the description below. But he drills his quite a bit larger. And if you, if you can see, this just sits right down in there. It's a 26 millimeter uh, brush knot. The hole is, well, let's get our calipers out and see what he drilled it to. Looks like, whoops, changing the settings here. There we go. Look how, like he drew, drilled it out to about 29 millimeters. Okay, so. It, this one that has very very small glue bump it fits in there It's a little lower down than maybe I would for this knot, but this knot is very short It doesn't have a lot of leeway if I were to do this one It fits a little bit higher up And even this big one um, That's you know 29 millimeters um, I can fit that one down in there as well, so um, if you're gonna err <laughs> on one side or the other you probably want your hole to be a tad, I mean you don't want it to be way too big because then it's just going to be floating around in there and, and it's going to be a problem. You don't want to put a 24 millimeter uh, knot in a 30 millimeter brush handle. But um, with 26 and 28 it's a little bit of, of wiggle room there. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling in this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or uh, suggestions because I'm sure there are people out there that, that uh, know more than I do on this but I just thought I'd share my thoughts um, and hopefully save someone some heartache when they go to put a knot in a brush and it doesn't fit so um, if you have any questions comments uh, helpful uh, tips for people watching this video please leave them down in the trip description or sorry in the comments I would really appreciate that and uh, thank you very much for tuning in Hope you have a wonderful night.